Wonderful an opportunity which God has given us this morning once again to be in his presence. Remember, God has been faithful since the month of October started from first till today on that fast. It's an opportunity. There is someone right now that who is in the hospital, cannot speak, cannot walk, cannot eat. But right now you are here, you can eat, you can speak, you can walk, and that is not that you are good than them. Not because of your power, your mighty, but it's because the grace that God has given you. And that's why this morning we are here live once again from the River and Center International, Nairobi, Kenya, with your prophet Robert Osoro this morning, bringing you the gospel of Jesus Christ. I believe that there is someone that God has been blessed throughout this week. We have been enjoying the grace from the month of October, from the year started on January till today. As the Bible says in the book of Psalms, chapter 117, from verse 24, that God has made this day so that we may rejoice and be glad in it because he is a faithful God that go is doing unconditional things to us. Praise the Lord. And that's why this morning, once again, I want to invite you to join us in this prophetic encounter service of the month of November as we are closing the month of October today. Because I believe that God has already packaged something for you. God has already have good plans for you. As the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 from verse 11, For I know the thoughts that which I have towards you, and the plans, no thoughts of evil, but plans to prosper. So God has a plan for you to prosper in your business, in your career, in your family, in, your, your, in, in, in every area of your life. And that's why this service, it is a prophetic encounter service. I want you to set your heart and to prepare that every word of prophetic that shall be coming unto you shall be a word of faith that which will trigger any stagnation in your life to break forth for your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. This morning, I want us once again to pray that, Father, thank you for our last Sunday services. Thank you for our midweek services and thank you for the month of October that you've been faithful unto us till today on that fast. The Bible is speaking in the book of Psalms chapter 92 from verse 1 to 2 that it's a good thing to give thanks unto Tarora, to sing praises unto him. I want you to lift up your voice from wherever you are watching me from. I can see brethren from uh, Zambia. You are live watching from South Africa, from Kisumu. God bless you so much. From Nairobi, 
Utawara, God bless you so much. I want you to lift up your voice and pray. Give him thanks because thanksgiving is the gateway for your future. Thanksgiving is the gateway for your breakthrough. And that's why I want you to lift up your voice and say, Father, thank you for our last Sunday services. Thank you for our midweek services, especially in Middle East and International Command Service. And also, we say, Father, we thank you for this Sunday service in our prophetic encounter service. We are prepared and set for a change of story. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice as we pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, this morning we gather before you. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for this Sunday service. We thank you for our last Sunday services. We thank you even for our midweek services. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. There shall be no one like you, Jesus. Your name is above all the names. There shall be no one you like you, God Almighty God. We thank you for the grace. We thank you for the favor. We thank you for the care. Thank you for the healing. Receive all the honor in Jesus' precious mighty name. We do pray and believe. Someone shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I don't know what you've been thanking God for, but one thing that which I am sure, God of thanksgiving shall answer your prayer in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Once again, I want us to lift our voices and pray that, Father, empower me with your power this morning. Empower me afresh in the name of Jesus. Empower me with the power that will make me overcome my challenges, overcome my failure, overcome my enemies, in the name of Jesus. The Bible is speaking in the book of Psalms, chapter 63, from verse 1, that I shall Isaac die to receive thy power and thy glory in the sanctuary. That means the power of God and the glory of God, it is only found in the sanctuary of God. And that's why this morning I want you to pray, because only those who pray that who are entitled for the power of God. In Acts of Apostles, chapter 10, verse 38, the Bible says, Our God anointed Jesus Christ with power who went around doing exploits. It is the power of God that which allows you for the exploits in your life, in your business, in your career, and in another area of your life. Lift up your voice and pray for the power. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, this morning we gather in this sanctuary to worship you, to praise your name, to give you the glory. We pray that may you empower us afresh with your power, the power to overcome our enemies, the power to overcome any affliction upon our life, the power to move forward, the power to make it happen in our life. In the name of Jesus, Father, this morning we need your power. We need your power. We need your power. The power that will empower us afresh. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. In Jesus' precious mighty name, we do pray and believe. Hallelujah. I don't know the kind of power that you are praying for and the reason behind of the prayer that you have made. But one thing that which I am sure is that this morning God shall empower you afresh and you shall overcome whatever that is the challenge over your life in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. And lastly, I want us to pray. You know, God has already created us and has given us an opportunity for the greater heights. The Bible is speaking in the book of Jeremiah chapter 33 from verse 3 that call unto me and I will show you the things that which you know it not. Praise the Lord. And that is why this morning I want us to lift our voices and pray that Father, this morning I pray that may you, un may, may you open any closed door in my life. Praise the Lord. You are going to pray so that may God open any closed door in our life because God has already prepared something good for you. God has already prepared something good for you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. The Bible is speaking in the book of uh, 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 Isaiah chapter 60. Isaiah chapter 60 from verse 11, and your doors and gates shall be open continually. They shall not shut day nor night, but they shall be open continually. Praise the Lord. I want us to lift our voices and say, Father, any closed door in my life, the door of my marriage, the door of my business, the door of my career, any closed door, let it be open supernaturally in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice as we pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, this morning we pray that let any closed door, any closed gates in my life be open continually. And any open door of the devil in my life, let it be closed supernaturally. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' precious mighty name, 
we do pray and believe. Hallelujah. Someone shout hallelujah. This morning, whatever that you are praying for, God to open a door for you. I pray that may God grant it to you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Once again, allow me to take you through our announcement. And I would like to invite you to join us this morning on 31st of October 2021 in our prophetic encounter service. And this prophetic encounter service, I believe that God has packaged a word for you. And any word shall be sent to you shall be a word of blessings in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. And also I want to take this opportunity to invite you to join us in our next Sunday service. It shall be our covenant day of favor. Praise the Lord. So next Sunday service, it shall be our covenant day of favor wherever you are. Every word of prophetic shall, that shall come upon you on next Sunday, God's favor shall be upon it for your breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. And also I want to take this opportunity to invite you to join us this coming Friday in our Midrace and the International Command Service every Friday. And God bless you so much. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Also, uh, I want to invite you to go to our social media platforms. You can also go like for us and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, the names are Prophet Robert Osoro, Romi TV Africa. Romi TV is R-O-M-I. And Africa is C-A, the last C-A, the last words are C-A, Romi TV Africa. Also, Dr. Robert Osoro, go to YouTube channel, subscribe, Romi TV Africa, Dr. Robert Osoro, Prophet Robert Osoro, Deliverance Center International. And also to our Facebook page, also to our TikTok, uh, our Instagram and Twitter. You can find us there and I know that God shall be a blessing upon your life as you do so in the name of Jesus. And lastly, uh, wherever you are joining us from, I, I know that you want to partner with our ministry and uh, you also, you, 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 you want to, to be a blessing from the word of God that shall be spoken in this altar. I want to pray for your giving, wherever you want to give from, your offering, your tithe, to whatever that you want to give it. The Bible is speaking in the book of Luke chapter 6, verse 38, that give and it shall be given unto you. The same measure that you measure, it shall be measured to you. And remember, our church numbers are, uh, our MPSAT number is 902. Uh, 6443. I want to pray for you wherever you are. Distance is not a barrier. Lift up your hands as I pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, once again I pray for your saints that from wherever they are watching us this service from, I speak a word of blessings upon their life. I speak that every leaf that hand shall never go down again in the name of Jesus. Any affliction upon their life through that giving, it shall be broken in the name of Jesus. God bless you so much for being part of this ministry in the name of Jesus. Pray Praise the Lord. And once again, I want us to go to the Word of God this morning from wherever you are watching us. I want us to go to the Word of God this morning. But before we go to the Word of God, I want us to lift our voices and open your heart. I want you to pray that, Father, open my heart, that as your Word comes forth, let it find a place in my heart so that it may fall in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voices, we pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, this morning I pray that as your word comes forth, may it find a place in my heart to fall. Let your word find a place in my heart to fall. Let your word make a new turn, a new change in my life. In the name of Jesus, I pray, oh, Almighty God, that this morning as I'm going to minister, may you use me as a vessel to be a blessing upon someone's life. Distance is not a barrier from wherever they are. As the Bible says in the book of Psalms 107, verse 20, that you send your word and you heal them and there were no more destruction right now this morning as i speak your word father let it find a place to fall that any healing any sickness any sickness upon your people let it be healed any destruction upon their life families let it be distracted by your word and their life be restored back in the name of jesus Jesus, we thank you this morning. Mighty God, we give you the praise. I pray that Jesus, may you empower me with the power of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I invite you to my life. That as I speak your words, let me not speak of my words, but I speak of your words. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And as you are praying this morning, I believe that God is going to empower you afresh. And your life will never be the same. In the name 
of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. This morning, in the few minutes, we shall be looking on a topic entitled Engaging the Power of Faith for Fulfillment of Prophecies. Praise the Lord. This morning, we shall be looking on the topic entitled Engaging the Power of Faith for Fulfillment of Prophecies. Praise the Lord. Maybe someone may ask, what is faith? The Bible speaking in the book of uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 11 from verse 1, that faith is a substance that makes unseenable things to be seenable and unbelievable things to be believable. It is until you start seeing things from your spiritual eyes that you will start believing them. Praise the Lord. Before you start having things practical, you have to see them in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. You know, many people in life, they have failed a spirit of faith because they need to see before they believe. And that's why the Bible says, faith is a substance that makes unseenable things and unbelievable things to be seenable and believable. Praise the Lord. So I believe that this morning, the word of God shall empower you to believe what God has packaged for you in the name of Jesus. Throughout the month of October, throughout the month of November, God has already prepared something good for you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And from the scripture, we understand that the Saint Lord, it said, the Saint Lord is the grand commander of the supernatural, for it is written, the Lord of hosts had sworn, saying, Surely, as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. And as I have purposed, so shall it stand. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 24. Anything that which God has swear himself, it shall come to pass and to stand. And if God has purposed that every word of prophetic that comes to you this day, it shall come a reality. I believe that our God in heaven shall make it happen to you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. But when we talk about that, this is a prophetic service. There are, there are things that which you need to put in place. Number one, you must believe the word of God. You must believe every word of God shall be spoken by his servants. Praise the Lord. Number two, you must believe his prophets. You must believe his prophets. Because if you can't believe his prophets, as much as you will believe the word of God, it shall not be of help to you. The Bible is speaking in the book of Second Chronicles chapter 20 from verse 20. And thou shalt believe you are God, God, and his prophets. Praise the Lord. So you cannot differentiate between God and his prophets. Maybe someone may ask me, Pastor, why the prophets? Prophets are the custodians of God. Prophets are the custodians of God. Prophets are the messengers of God, for they carry the message of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe that someone is changing level this morning in the name of Jesus. And that is why from the, 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 the word of God, we can see that God he has purposed to do some extraordinary things in our life because we must recognize that God is not in class of men. And as such, he speaks according to himself, not according to us. So God does not speak according to our level of belief, but he speaks according to his level of provision. Praise the Lord. This morning, God shall provide for you and your family in the name of Jesus. He does not look for solutions. He creates them. God is not there to look for solutions, but he creates them. But you need to speak. The Bible says, any closed mouth is a closed destiny. Any moment that you are kept quiet or you are complaining, you are complicating matters, always praise he. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In a summary, in a summary, maybe someone may ask, why the prophets? From the scripture, we understand that they are the agents of restoration. Praise the Lord. Prophets are the agents of restoration. Hallelujah. As it is written, and the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of Egyptians, so that they rent unto them such a things as they required. And they spoiled the Egyptians, Exodus chapter 2, verse 36. As we all know, Israel rebelled for 430 years without wages. But through the ministry of Moses, the prophet, their dignity was restored. Hosea chapter 2, verse 13. 
it doesn't matter how long that you've been laboring in that situation. It doesn't how long that you've been looking for a baby. It doesn't matter how long that you've been looking for a family, for a husband, for a wife, for a business breakthrough, for a job, for a promotion. But the Bible says that prophets are the agents of restoration. God has sent his servants to speak a word of restoration in your life. Joel chapter 2 verse 25, the Bible says, I shall restore what the locust has eaten from your life. That means God is in the business of restoration. This morning I stand as a prophet of God and apostle of Jesus Christ, who is given power and authority to speak over your life. Whatever the devil has taken out of your life, I speak restoration. In the name of Jesus, I speak a new beginning. In the name of Jesus, from today, whatever has been a stagnation in your life, I speak a restoration of new beginning in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Number two, why the prophets? Prophets are the agents of breakthrough. Prophets are the agents of breakthrough. God is using his servants to speak of something that which you could have repaired for so long to happen in a short period of time. Praise the Lord. As it is written, and the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of Egypt. It is the faith of God that he gave the people who had labored for 430 years. Within a span of an year, Moses was able to take them out of Egypt. Praise the Lord. And that's why we say that hey, prophets are the agents of breakthrough. Because as breakthrough agents, prophets are the barrier breakers. Remember in the book of Ezra chapter 4, verse 23 to 24, and also chapter 5, verse 1 to 2, the work of the house of the Lord was made to cease by force. But through the intervention of a prophet, the barriers were broken. Any barrier in your life, in your family, in your business, it shall be broken in the name of Jesus. In this prophetic encounter service, God has already pre prepared his word upon his servant to speak over your life for a new beginning. In the name of Jesus. Number three, why the prophets? Prophets are the agents of rescue after the order of Moses. God has ordained his prophets to rescue you from any satanic affliction, from any and name it encounter so that you can be set free. Praise the Lord. Through the means of Moses, God rescued Israel out of Egypt. God said unto him, Come now, therefore, and I will send thy unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Exodus chapter 3, verse 10. The landmark Lord of Moses in the liberation of the Israels underscores the reality of prophets as God sent agents of rescue for his people. So God always sends his prophets to rescue you. Because there's something that you could have done for a thousand years, but when God's prophets speak over you, it can be done in a day, in three days. Praise the Lord. And number four, why the prophets? They are the agents of prosperity, as it is written. And they lost early in the morning, and they went forth into the wilderness of Tokia. And as they went forth, Joseph stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and the ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in your God, so shall be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. Until you believe in your God and his prophets, you remain doomed. This morning I speak a supernatural breakthrough upon your life, upon your family, upon your business, in the name of Jesus. Some people may ask me, Pastor, why are you preaching prosperity? The Bible says in the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8, Believe, let this book of law, the Bible, not depart from your mouth, meditate it day and night, and thou shalt bring good success and prosperous unto your life. That means God has already ordained you to prosper. Jeremiah chapter 29 from verse 11 says, For I know the plans I have towards you, and the thoughts that which I have towards you. No, trial, no thoughts and plans of evil, but to prosper. Prosperity is from God. Prosperity does not limit to finances. Prosperity does not limit to health, but prosperity means having good health, good family, good business, finances, all round about. In summary, in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 17 and 18, the Bible says, And thou shalt remember your God, God, who gives you power to prosper. It is God that who gives you power to prosper. Praise the Lord. Many have been 
given such a power to prosper, but have, have forgotten their God. And that's why maybe God has taken away what he has given them. Because he says, I am your God, God, and I write not. What I say is what I will do. This morning, whatever that has made you to backslide by the power of God, God shall restore back to you. I speak as a prophet of God upon your life, that God is going to restore you back in the name of Jesus. And lastly, why the prophets? The prophets, they are the agents of divine reward. Jesus once said, He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he that receiveth a righteousness man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man reward. Matthew chapter 10, verse 41. On how that you will receive the prophet of God, it is on how that you are going to receive in your life. Praise the Lord. This morning, I don't know how you have prepared your heart for your breakthrough. I don't know how, been, how you have been prepared your heart for a new month of November. But I know that in our team of the month of November, our 11th hour in the month of November, whatever has not worked in your life from the month of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, the God of 11th hour shall make it to work for you. Whatever you have labored for years, God shall make it to happen in a single minute in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. And lastly, why the prophets? They are the custodians of visions. God uses his prophets to unfold the visions that which are pulled in your life, which are folded. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, prophets are visions carriers through whom God's agent is unfade from. Time to time, as it is written, I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have also multiplied visions and used spirits. By the means of the prophets, Isaiah chapter 12, verse 10, and also if you look at Joel chapter 2, from verse 27 and 28, the Bible says, For the whole will dream dreams, and the young men shall see visions. It doesn't matter the age bracket that you are in, whether you are 60, 70. When the Bible says, and the young men, it says that those who are in the spirit, those who are in the revelation of the word of God shall see visions. This morning I speak over your life. May you see the vision of God. May you see the vision of God. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. In summary, there is no doubt that prophets are the agents of change through whom God opens new chapters in the lives of his people. Hence, we must recognize that God is committed when he speaks, and everything he has spoken prophetically to us this month of November is already created for you in the name of Jesus. You shall be riding in the glory of the Lord in the name of Jesus. All we need to do is to take the delivery of them by believing and deservedly and repentantly and unshamedly to commit him to perform them through his prophets. Nevertheless, you must be born again. Praise the Lord. And that's why the Bible says in the book of John chapter 10, verse 10, Hallelujah, that the devil comes to steal, destroy, and keep. So the devil comes for three purposes. But I, Jesus, the pillar of our life, he came to give life so that you may live in abundance. Praise the Lord. This morning, I don't know what you've been going through. I don't know what people have said about, uh, upon your life. But one thing, I believe that by the mystery of faith and unlocking the supernatural, my God in heaven shall open a door for you in the name of Jesus. I'm here to pray for someone that has been believing for a change of story. I don't know what is this that you've been believing God for. I don't know what you've been going through over your life. I don't know what people have said about you. Maybe people have said that you cannot give birth. You cannot get married. You cannot own your own house or car. But by the power of God, God shall command them to come and celebrate you. They shall come to dedicate your house, to dedicate your car. They shall come to celebrate your wedding in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, no matter the matter, no matter the situation that which you have been going through, by the power of God, a new beginning is coming upon your life. A new journey is starting upon your life. 
in this month of November, expect exploits of favor, exploits of breakthroughs, exploits of lifting. In the name of Jesus, any satanic affliction upon your life, I stand as a prophet of God in that gap. And I speak a new beginning. I speak a new journey for you. Those who mocked you, they shall come to celebrate with you. Those who say that you cannot make it, they shall come to celebrate with you. Those who rejected you, they shall be looking for you. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We give you other praise. We give you other glory. In Jesus' precious mighty name, we do pray and believe. Hallelujah. Thank you, my brothers from Sudan. I can see you alive in the service. God bless you. From Siaya, Mombasa, Kisi, God bless you so much for tuning in. And God bless you so much in the name of Jesus. So this morning, I believe that there's somebody that who is watching this service and you are not born again or you are born again, but you backslided. And this is an opportunity which God has given you this morning so that you can get back to the root and to his line so that God may get a way of blessing you. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 7, if you continue, if the devil knows how he gives his children, how much more our Father in heaven that can give to you. But remember, God only gives to his children as the devil gives only to his children. And that's why this morning I believe that you are somewhere you are not born again. Until you proclaim the name of Jesus, your life has no a new beginning. In the book of Romans chapter 10 from verse 10, the Bible says, By the heart a man believeth, by the mouth a man converses. I want you to pray this prayer after me. If you believe that Jesus died and was crucified in the close of Calvary because of your sins, because of your sickness, because of your failure, so that you may be justified and you may resto be restored back. I want you to pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. I cannot help myself. But I come to you this morning that may you forgive my sins, and they remove my name from the book of the devil, write it to the book of the righteousness. From today, I believe that I'm born again and I have Jesus as my Savior and Lord in the name of Jesus. If you have prayed that prayer, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, someone that has prayed for this prayer, for the salvation, for the restoration, for the healing, for the lifting, I pray that let the power of the Holy Spirit be restored upon their life. In the name of Jesus, I empower them with the power of Jesus cast upon their life that the devil has no power over them. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you so much for tuning in. And I know that God has a good plan for you. And for joining us this Sunday service, I know that God has already prepared something for you. Keep sharing, keep liking, keep commenting. Maybe you have a prayer request you can send to our inbox in our uh, email. You can also send us an email at uh, prophet robertosora at gmail.com at deliverance center international at gmail.com at prosperity robert at gmail.com and god bless you so much in the name of jesus let me remind you of the few announcements as we close this service from wherever you are uh, maybe uh, wherever that you are watching us from you want to reach us you can also uh, subscribe to our youtube channel so that you can be getting a notification when we are anytime that we are live at uh, prophet robert osoro at the reverence center international also at romi tv africa go to youtube subscribe like comment and also go to facebook page tiktok instagram all social media platforms same names and god bless you so much in the name of jesus remember to join us this coming friday from 10 a.m in our midrace and com and international command service also on next sunday service in our covenant day of favor and a breakthrough and god bless you so much let me pray for you as we close this service father in the name of jesus I don't know what someone is believing this morning. I don't know what someone has been going through this morning over their life. But by the power of the Holy Spirit, I pray for your power. I pray for your healing. I pray for your lifting. I pray for the newness upon their life. In the name of Jesus, someone has been believing for a supernatural healing. Someone has been believing for a breakthrough. In, in, in business, in career, in job. But by the power of God, this week shall be the best week ever for you, shall be the best week ever for your family. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that accident is not your portion. Failure is not your portion. Whatever that you shall do this week shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, I speak Speak supernatural blessings upon your life. Supernatural restoration upon your life. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. In Jesus' name.
precious mighty name we do pray and believe god bless you so much for taking your time watching this service i see you have turned out with the right number god bless you from wherever you are watching us from and i know that god loves you and i love you and there's nothing you can do about it in jesus precious mighty name and surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives we shall dwell in the presence of the lord now and forevermore amen shalom see you and have a wonderful week wherever you shall be this week i know that god has already prepared a way for you in the name of jesus next sunday you are coming back with a testimony a testimony of financial breakthrough a testimony of your business breakthrough in jesus name shalom see you